Hello, my name is Cody and welcome to the first devlog on this still to be named game. An idol like game with a twist where you farm and unlock living crops to help you along the way. Before we get started, let's talk about who is working on this game and where the inspiration came from. We are two game development students working on this project, myself, Ben, and my friend Calvin. We've both worked on smaller titles through our university degree alongside some game jams. One thing that neither of us have done, however, is finishing a game that isn't a small game jam game. This is where the biggest inspiration comes from. We both share a passion for creating games, and finishing a title is something we both wish to accomplish. For the game itself, we both enjoy auto games, but wish they had some more player interaction to them. Yeah, I, I know, idle games and doing things don't usually go together. Anyway. The project is mainly inspired by smaller games such as Clicker Heroes and Plantera, but with a few elements from Stardew Valley such as their combat or mining system. But what is the project? Let's get into that. This unnamed game is an idle like farming game where you not only place farms, but you also explore different worlds to unlock living crops or helpers that will help you collect your farms so that you kinda don't have to do it, hence the idle type. The goal is really just to get as far as you can with new zones, unlocking new crops and new enemies to defeat. It's pretty much an idle game, but the interaction's there with the combat, and we really like the aspects of the game so far. And that's pretty much it. With a very small basic description of the project out of the way, let's get into the development. So far we've worked on the game for about a week, and gotten some basic features working. I started creating a temporary player and got it moving left and right, along with the basic camera following. Getting the player controller done early was something that I wanted to put focus on, as the controls of a game is the one thing that the player will be using the most. If this doesn't feel right, then the rest of the game doesn't really matter. I'm still not sure what exactly to do for the player, so if you have any ideas, let us know. The input has been set up using Unity's new input system, which means adding controller support is extremely easy, and it's something that we're already working on. Overall, walking around the player feels really good, and unless something comes up, I doubt we'll be changing it much anymore. Once the movement was done, I decided to swap out the camera for a Cinemachine camera, just to get that smooth movement. Super easy to use, and it works really well. The next thing we decided to work on was to eliminate the length of longer processes when creating games. This is stuff like adding items, quests, NPCs and so on. That's where custom editors come into play. A custom editor gets rid of navigating folders, clicking different files, dragging and dropping new items into the database and so on. We can instead just make everything from one place. It speeds up development a lot more than people think. Currently we've got editors for farms, items, entities, and quests. For the editors themselves, we decided to import the Odin Inspector asset. It just allows you to easily create custom editors using attributes, as well as serialize anything. It's one thing that I wish I started doing a lot more earlier on, and I can definitely recommend people looking into editors, even if it's something like using the Odin Inspector to help the process of creating the editors. With some of the basic mechanics done, I got tired of looking at the white ground and started doing some of the art. Neither me or Catherine are artists, so I guess we can call this programmer art? I started just using ASC Sprite to sketch out some of the tiles and one of the entities that we've got, as well as one of the farms. I'm pretty happy with how some of the visuals turned out, and I'm excited to improve my pixel in the future. As said earlier on, we're still not sure what some of the aspects, such as the player, will look like, so if you have any ideas or anything cool like a unique farm you would like to see then let us know. This is probably the area which will take the longest and go through the most iterations because as said we're not artists so any suggestions is very helpful and feel free to get in contact with us if you have a very specific idea.
Now that the project no longer looks horrendous, it's back to development again. Next up was the build mode. We didn't really want UI on the screen at all times like most outdoor games have, so we decided on a pop-up menu. Pressing one of the farms in the farm tab lets the player move the camera around and place a farm where they want within a grid. The grid allows for more freedom on where the farm is placed, and if we wish to do so, we can manually set the size of objects that we want placed. After the grid was working, I made it spawn another object of the same farm that you're placing down, just to give the player a visualization of where the farm's being placed. If it's not shown, it's outside of the grid. If it's red, the spots are occupied. And if it's green, that obviously means you can place it down. The last thing I want to talk about development-wise this week are the quests. So quests in-game will be used for both tutorials, objectives, and Steam achievements. So pretty much anything you could think of that quest would do. As I talked about earlier on, we've got the editor for quests, and if we head on in here, we can have a look at both quests and objectives. Anything that you can think of can be turned into a quest as long as we have the objective for it. Currently, we've got killing, gathering, harvesting a farm, planting a farm, buying an item, or clearing a zone. Some of these have not been implemented yet because the features are lacking. So the only one that kind of works right now is planting farms. I said kind of, but it works. As well as viewing all objectives and quests, we can also create new quests and edit the current ones. So this one, for instance, is plant any of three farms. It has the objective on it. And this one just listens out for planting any kind of farm. We can click has achievement here and assign a Steam achievement. This has been tested because Steam has a really nice way of testing if achievements do work. Obviously, we cannot create our own until we have a Steamworks page. But if we go ahead and we hit play, we can then see that if we place down some farms in the console, we should see it update. So it started the quest, and when I place something, you can see that twice it will update it, and then on the third, it should complete it. So if we exit build mode here, we can see that the quest is officially done. Alongside just objectives and achievements, we may also use this for things like holiday special. So if we add anything Easter specific, for instance, we could use the objectives to sort of grant the player some cosmetic rewards or something. It's overall a really good idea to have for any kind of game that you plan on doing and it's going to be super useful for especially the tutorial setting that up. And that marks the end of the first devlog. I do, however, want to take a bit of time to just talk about the planning stage of the project and where it's heading. So we've made sure to plan everything down so we know what's going to be added to the game. Maybe some of it hasn't really been planned fully, but I'm sure we'll get there. We spent about a week or so working on the project and then setting up the video as well for it. And it's been pretty great. We both finish our uni year very very soon so we'll have a lot more free time to work on this project and i'm sure development will speed up with the exception of the art of course <laughs> uh, if you did enjoy this video or the first episode of this untitled game make sure to let us know what we should call it then uh, please leave a like on the video it really does help out with the youtube algorithm and any anyone watching thank you so much for next week or next time we plan on getting crops working so actually growing and harvesting and maybe some of the first pets aka collectors the people that will or the living crops that will walk around and collect the um, the crops for you so i'm excited for that if you really want to then uh, make sure to join our discord server where you can chat to us about the game or any game dev related stuff in general any content you want to see on my channel and so on so Links in the description, and that's going to be everything. Bye-bye.